Our topic for today is about multiplication and division of rational algebraic expressions. Let's have an example. So, gaya ng pagmumultiply natin ng fraction, we have a over b times c over d and it will give you a c over b d. So, imumultiply lang natin yung magkatapat. Okay, so gawin natin dyan. So, 37x times y. Magiging 37xy over 2y times 4. So, 2 times 4 is 8, then y. Tapos, isimplify na natin yan. So, dun muna tayo sa mga numbers natin. 37 and 8. May lowest term ba yan? So, kung walang lowest term, isusulat na natin agad. 37 and 8. Okay, then, dun tayo sa mga variables natin. X. So, yun yung nasa numerator natin. Wala siyang kaparehas sa denominator. So, isusulat lang natin. Then, y divided by y magiging 1. So, makakancel yun. Okay. So, therefore, wala na tayong isisimplify. Ito na yung final answer natin. 37x over 8. Next. Sample 2. Multiply 15y over 2y times 2y over 5x raised to 2. Okay. So, ganun din. Multiply natin. 15y times 2y. So, 15 times 2 muna. We have 30. Then, y times y. y raised to 2. Over 2y times 5x raised to 2. 2 times 5 muna. So, 10. Then, we have x raised to 2. Tapos, y. Okay, then, let's simplify. 30 divided by 10 it will give you 3. Kapag nagsisimplify tayo, i-follow pa rin natin kung ano yung nauuna sa alphabet natin. Kung x, yung x muna. Diba? x, y, z. w, x, y, z. So, nauna yung x kay y. So, kay x muna tayo. Wala tayong pwedeng i-divide sa kanya. So, nasa baba lang siya. x raised to 2. Then, sa y na tayo, we have y raised to 2 divided by y. So, ang mangyayari kapag nag-divide tayo, magma-minus tayo ng exponent. So, ang exponent na itong nasa numerator natin ay 2. Ang exponent naman ng denominator natin na y is 1. Kahit wala exponent yan, automatic may invisible na 1 doon. So, 2 minus 1, it will give you 1. So, dahil positive yun, ilalagay natin sa taas. Kapag negative yung nakuha natin, pag nag-minus tayo ng exponent, sa baba natin siya ilalagay. So, y. Wala na siyang exponent kasi minus natin, 1 na lang. So, 3y over x raised to 2. So, nakalawis term na yan. Hindi na natin pwedeng isimplify. Kaya yan na yung final answer natin. Next, number 3. Multiply x minus 5 over x raised to 2 minus 7x plus 10 times x raised to 2 plus x minus 6 over 5. So, kapag nakakita tayo ng mga ganyan, usually sa mga trinomial, i-apply natin yung napag-aralan natin sa factoring para mas madali tayo makapag-multiply, which is ikakancel na lang natin yung mga parehas na term. Okay, so subukan natin. x minus 5 over, ito i-factor natin tong x raised to 2 minus 7x plus 10. So magkakaroon tayo ng dalawang binomial. Then factor natin, so we have x. Then isip tayo ng dalawang number na kapag pinag-multiply natin, positive 10. Kapag pinag-add natin, negative 7. Okay, so we have negative 5 and negative 2. Negative 5 times negative 2 is positive 10. Negative 5 plus negative 2 is negative 7. So, yun yung factor niya. Balikan nyo yung lesson nyo about factoring para mas mabilis ang pagmumultiply natin ng rational algebraic expressions. Then, we have multiplied by, i-factor din natin tong x raised to 2 plus x minus 6. Okay, so meron din tayong dalawang binomial dyan. 
So, isip tayo ulit ng dalawang number na kapag pinag-multiply natin ay negative 6. Yan. At kapag pinag-add naman natin, positive 1. So, we have positive 3 and negative 2. Okay. So, 3 times negative 2, makukuha mo yung negative 6. 3 plus negative 2, positive 1. Okay, then over, sulat natin itong 5. So, 5. Then, multiply na natin. So, i-multiply lang natin yan. We have x minus 5. Hmm, ito yan. Then, susulat natin yan. So, x plus 3. Then, x minus 2. Then, over, x minus 5. Then, x minus 2. Ito yan nasa baba, then times 5. Okay. Then yung gagawin natin, magka-cancel tayo. Kasi i-divide natin yan. So, x minus 5 divided by x minus 5 magiging 1. So, ibig sabihin, yung mga magkakaparehas sa numerator and denominator natin, pwede na natin i-cancel. So, ayan. Ang kaparehas na sa baba, yan. Then, x minus 2, meron tayong x minus 2 dito sa denominator. Then, ang matitira na lang is x plus 3 over 5. So, yan na yung final answer natin. x plus 3 over 5. Next is division naman tayo. So, kapag nag-divide naman tayo, we have a over b divided by c over d. Ang mangyayari dyan is we have a over b times Pukunin natin yung reciprocal niyan. So, babalik na rin lang natin. Magiging D over C. Tapos, mag-multiply na tayo. So, AD over BC yung magiging sagot. So, subukan natin. Una natin gagawin. Sulat muna natin. X plus Y. Then, X minus Y. Kunin natin yung reciprocal niyan. Babalik na rin lang natin. So, Y over X na siya nun. Then, papalitan natin yung operation. Magiging multiplication. Then, magmumultiply lang tayo. Hindi na tayo magde-divide. And, multiply natin si y kay x, tapos si y ulit kay y naman. So, x times y is xy, and y times y is y raised to 2. Then, over, ganun din yung gagawin natin. Sa si x, multiply natin doon. Then, multiply din natin kay y. So, x times x is x raised to 2, then negative yung sign niya, then x times y is xy. Then, i-check natin kung meron pa bang dapat i-simplify. So, kung wala na, ito na yung final answer natin. Okay, we have xy plus y raised to 2 over x raised to 2 minus xy. Then, example number 5. We have 3p raised to 2 plus 6p plus 3 over p plus 1. Then, kunin natin yung reciprocal ng 3 over p. So, we have p over 3. Yung kapaliktaran niya. Then, ang operation na natin is multiplication. Kung mapapansin nyo, itong unang algebraic expression natin, itong numerator niya, pwede natin siyang i-factor using greatest common monomial factor. Okay, so ang um, GCF niya is 3. So, factor natin siya. Labas natin yung 3, then i-divide natin sa bawat terms. So, 3P raised to 2 divided by 3 will give you P raised to 2. Ayan, 3 divided by 3, magiging 1 na lang. So, P raised to 2 na lang. Plus, 6P divided by 3, it will give you 2P. Then, 3 divided by 3, it will give you 1. Then, sulat natin, P plus 1, then times P over 3. Okay, then, meron pa tayong pwedeng i-factor ulit dyan. Pa-factor natin ulit. So, eto, yung P raised to 2 plus 2P plus 1, pwede pa natin ulit i-factor kasi trinomial siya using 2 binomial. Actually, this one is a perfect square trinomial. So, kunin natin ulit yung 3. Then, i-factor natin siya. So, ang factor niyan is P plus 1 
and p plus 1. Okay, 1 times 1, 1. 1 plus 1, 2. Okay, then kopyahin natin yung denominator, p plus 1 times p over 3. Okay, then pwede na tayong mag-multiply. So, pagsamahin na natin lahat. So, we have 3 times p plus 1. Tapos, p plus 1. Ito yan. Kinuha natin dyan. Tapos, times p. Ayun, pinag-multiply lang natin lahat ng nasa taas, nasa numerator. Then, sa baba naman, p plus 1. Lagyan natin ng close and open parenthesis para masabing minultiply natin. Then, yung 3. Okay, then pwede na tayong mag-cancel. So, sa pagka-cancel, pang nag-cancel ka ng isa sa taas, isa lang din ang ikakancel mo sa baba. Hindi ibig sabihin na, halimbawa, itong P plus 1, tatlo sila, ikakancel mo silang lahat dahil pare-pare sila. Hindi. So, pag nag-cancel tayo ng isa dyan, isa lang din sa baba. Then, eto, may 3 pa tayo dyan. So, cancel natin yung 3. Saka 3, kasi 3 divided by 3, magiging 1 na lang. Then, ang may iiwan is... P plus 1, tapos P. Then, i-multiply lang natin yan. So, P times P, we have P raised to 2. Tapos, P times 1, will give you P. So, ito na yung final answer natin. P raised to 2 plus P. Okay, another example. Divide x raised to 2 plus 5x plus 6 over x raised to 2 plus 4x plus 4 divided by x plus 1 over x plus 3. Okay, may mga trinomial tayo dyan. So, madali lang to. Magpa-factor lang tayo. Okay, so sa pag-multiply and pag-divide kasi ng rational algebra expression, kailangan malawak talaga yung kaalaman natin sa factoring para mas madaling mag-multiply. So, muna natin yung reciprocal niyan. So, we have x raised to 2 plus 5x plus 6 over x raised to 2 plus 4x plus 4. Then, we have x plus 3 over x plus 1. Then, ang operation na natin is multiplication. Okay, then, mag-factor tayo. Ang factor niyan is dalawang binomial ulit. We have x plus 2 and x plus 3. Bakit? We have 2 times 3, makukuha yung 6. 2 plus 3, makukuha yung 5. So, yun ang factor nun. Then, sa baba naman is, this one is a perfect square trinomial. So, meron tayong x plus 2 and, and x plus 2. Then, multiplied by x plus 3. Then, x plus 1. So, eto yun. Yan, pinopya lang natin. Then, pagsamasamahin na natin, x plus 2 times x plus 3 times x plus 3 ulit. Ito. Yan, tinugtong natin kasi minultiply natin. Then, x plus 2 times x plus 2 then times x plus 1. Then, magka-cancel na tayo. Cancel cancel then wala na tayong pwedeng i-cancel so ang natira ay x plus 3 times x plus 3 x plus 2 times x plus 1 pag ganyan yung natira kailangan natin i-multiply so ibabalik natin siya sa trinomial okay so pag minultiply natin tong x plus 3 at saka x plus 3 gumamit tayo ng foil method so we have x raised to 2 yan x times x 3x plus 3x it will give you plus 6x then yung sa dulo outer term 3 times 3 it will give you 9 over for, uh, for method x times x x raised to 2 then 2x plus 1x it will give you 3x then 2 times 1 it will give you 2 so eto na yung final answer natin x raised to 2 plus 6x plus 9 over x raised to 2 plus 3x plus 2 Okay, so sana may natutunan kayo ngayong araw na to. Thank you for listening and keep studying hard.